Welcome to this morning's edition of Business Talk, where ABC5 takes a deeper look at local businesses and services. We're here this morning again with Marty Fuller, owner of uh, Avanti Skincare Centers. How are you doing this morning? Good morning. How are you? I'm doing great. You know, the last couple of segments, we've dealt with uh, different arrays of services that you offer here at Avanti. We talked about the different styles and different types of, of hair removal, laser hair. We did the threading and all that. Uh, then the last time we talked about uh, skin rejuvenation. Um, uh, one of the other services that, that is everybody thinks they know about is, is Botox and fillers. And so I thought today maybe we can kind of talk about Botox and fillers. And being a guy, I don't know a whole lot about that. So can you just kind of talk about what's the difference between a filler and the difference between Botox and what areas would you use a filler and what areas would you use a Botox in? Absolutely. Um, I think everybody has heard about Botox cosmetic and mm -hmm. Botox has been used for many, many years to treat the wrinkles that are caused when we have certain facial expressions. Uh, the most common and is the frown line. When you frown really hard, take, do that, you feel that line right mm -hmm. there? Yeah. yeah. We call that the, the frown, the frown lines or it's the glabella is the name of that area. And we treat that area with Botox to help stop the muscle from contracting so that you don't make the line. Mm. Same as in the crow's feet, you always hear women talking about crow's feet, crow's feet. When they smile, they get these lines, you know, around their eyes. And same with gentlemen, they're not, they're not exempt from wrinkles. It's from the nerves or the muscles. It's kind of like putting an arm in a cast. You know, we're, we're just stopping the ability for that muscle to move with a chemical as opposed to a physical um, I see. restraint. I see. So what is the difference between the Botox and the filler then? Where would you use fillers? We use filler and what we use here is Juvederm Ultra Plus XC. It lasts about a year um, and we'll install it in like the nasolabial folds or actually in the lips. As we start to age and we lose that volume, filler is to replace that volume. So as you start getting, you know, the wrinkles around the lips or mm -hmm. a lot of times it's just because people want a fuller looking lip. Angelina Jolie kind of brought back those nice plump lips mm -hmm. and so they'll they'll want a little bit more volume. We can install a little of the filler into the lip. The nasolabial fold as it starts to as we start to lose the volume in our face and the cheek starts to fall, we get you know the creases here and sometimes in the marionette lines. Okay. Um, as we start to age. And so if we stall, install the filler in there, it plumps that back up and it lasts about a year and people are really happy with that. And how long does the procedure take? The procedure really takes, you know, 10 to 20 minutes, the actual injecting portion of it. That's all for today's edition of Business Talk, weekday mornings on ABC5.